Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. So in this video session, we are discussing about how we operate insert operation by using WPTB object. And this is our part 16th video session. Okay guys, so if you are a beginner from this video session, then watch previous video session from video number 1 to video number 15 to get the clear concept about WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch. So in this video session we are going to insert some simple data to our DB table which we have actually made with our plugin. So as if you have remembered then WP custom plugin is the table that we have made with our plugin activation okay so let me check the code register activation hook so this is the table guys which we have actually made with our plugin activation okay so this is the table that we have made in our last video session so in this video session we are going to insert some dummy values to this table okay so and with the help of WPTB object. So basically to insert some values on any table of database we have two functions for that means there are two ways to do so. There are two ways to insert value to DB table okay. So step by step we will see the two different conditions. First by using WPDB insert function okay and the second one WPDB query okay so one step by step we will see both ways to insert values into database table first we are going to look about WPDB insert function so before using this function if you read the documentation section of WPDB insert then go to wordpress.org and you can find the documentation section of this so basically wpdb insert function inserts a row into the table okay so in which table actually the values will be stored the values will be stored in this table name so this is the table name as we supplied the first argument should be table name second argument should be the array of data means key value pair of column value column value and the third parameter about is the values format means if you are passing values as a string for a column then we have to supply m percent s and uh, suppose if you are passing some integer values to our column then we need to pass m percent d okay so according to our need we use these parameters to insert into the table so it's an optional parameter guys so just we need to use these two arguments of WPDB insert method okay so let's insert some values with the help of WPDB insert method so back to our code and just we need to insert some values here in the last video session we have seen the use of this so for now I am doing this so simple insert operation on page refresh for now okay so we don't want to insert some values after a button click for now if we refresh the page if we refresh the page then after refreshing the page I want the value to be inserted into WP custom plugin table okay so let me insert some values so WPDB insert method as we have seen in the documentation section the first parameter should be the table name okay so we want to the value to be inserted into WP custom plugin so just we need to pass the table name and second parameter should be the values of key value pair in array format okay and the value should be something like this column name value column name and then value so in our condition go to structure and the column name is suppose name just copy of that paste it here and suppose I am passing the values for now it's online web tutor and the second column is simply email just copy of that email 
and something called value like online wave one two three four at gmail dot com. Okay, and the phone number should be something like just copy this column. And the value should be something like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Okay, so this is the dummy value, guys. We have supplied to be inserted into WP Custom Plugin Table. And uh, if you remember that ID is the primary key, it it's an auto increment. So don't need to pass the values for this column because it will be auto incremented after inserting any row and created date. It's the, Data type is timestamp and it will insert the current timestamp as its default value. Default value, okay. So on page refresh, WPD we insert what actually it does. It selects WP custom plugin table from database and it inserts the values in this format means we are get the name value should be online web tutor, email should be something like this, and the phone number is this. Okay, so just control us to save and go to our website and just refresh this page. So let me check that, just click on browse. So we can see our values now inserted into WP custom plugin as we supplied according to our values something name, email, and phone number. So this is the first condition guys to insert some values into the database. So now if we write some syntax for this WPDB insert first should be table name and second should be array of something like column it's value 1 column 2 Thing called value 2 so according to number of columns we can insert into this array and by the help of insert method we can insert into database table so now in the second method in the second method if we go to the documentation section of prepare method prepare method guys in last video session I have discussed about this function in a little bit but in this video session we are going to discuss some extra points about this function so WPDB prepare function actually prepares a SQL query for safe execution as we know guys at this time there are so many issues actually happening by hacking some data which is transferring from one organization to another organization so to safely execute our database queries actually as you know all important datas all personal datas are at this time actually inserted into the database so to execute our safe executions mysql queries we need to use wpdb prepare function it provides a sql query which basically removes the SQL injected code which actually hackers apply to our code. So in the second method means WP TV insert sorry query we are going to use WPDB prepare. It's an optional function of uh, optional way to do that. If you don't want to use WPDB prepare function, then don't need to add this. Simply write your custom query, insert into, just copy of that, paste it here. Column name here, we need to pass to like name, phone number, sorry, email, phone, and values should be here. It's values. And first value should be like something for perfect solutions. Second value should be perfectech at gmail.com. And the third value something like this. So this is the simple MySQL query we have written actually in WPDB query method. It is the direct way to insert our values. Okay guys. So just make comment in this. Uh, let me refresh that page so just click on browse 
So you can see our second row is now inserted into the database table. But guys, this is not the safest way to use MySQL query in this direct manner. So if you want to execute your MySQL query in the safest manner, safely execution if you want, then just cut your code, insert into WPDB prepare function. Okay, and uh, within WPDB, write your queries and the value something we have need to pass something like this. Just remove this for now. And uh, name value actually takes the string value. Okay, to string value, as we go to the documentation section, then we can see for string value, we need to use the placeholder something like ampersand s. Okay, and uh, sorry, it's a percentage ball. And for an email value, should be something like this, then percent as for this, and phone number also should be string, then percent as because all data types which we have made for our data, uh, database columns, if you see, then it's a var care, so it's a string. So, all var care data types actually takes the value something like percentage as okay so we actually have written our placeholders for now and just we need to pass values so it's subject mar and uh, email something like sanjay at gmail.com and phone number something like this so this is the execution of mysql query in a safest manner and uh, this is the column name insert into the WP custom plugin values and this is the placeholders and these are the values which is comma separated so guys this is the syntax of wpdb prepare function so just click on refresh just click on browse so we can see we get another column with id5 and these all details are comes from here okay guys so we have seen the use of prepare function which actually prepares a mysql query in safest manner and i hope that you guys understand the syntax of prepare function this is the simple guys query actually you remember your mysql query and nothing these are the placeholders and it basically represents the data type of this column name name value should contain a varchar email should contain a varchar and phone should contain a varchar so to use varchar we have to use percent as and these all values here you can see okay so we have used two methods to insert database values to database something WPDB insert method and the second was WPDB query method and we have also seen the function to get prepare okay guys so below WPDB query we have seen WPDB prepare function also and how can we actually use something WPDB query WPDB has something called prepare and here is our MySQL query okay here is our MySQL query with placeholders and placeholders and here is the value 1 value 2 value 3 and so on and placeholders actually if you want to insert a string value means varchar for varchar type the placeholder should be percent s if the value is should be integer if the value is integer type then you have to use its percent d so according to your need guys you just replace the placeholder symbol here and according to your values so this is a there are two different ways to insert the values in database so in our later video session we will see how we will insert our values by our ajax request which we are going to make from this form okay so in later video session we will see that how on button click actually we need to insert these values these form values to database 
so guys if you haven't subscribed so far to our youtube channel then please guys i strongly recommend to subscribe to our youtube channel to get the latest videos updates from our online web tutor channel so guys i think i have made much more clear concept about wpdb object as well as we have seen insert query in database tables so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day